what do you do before most games? I watch the I watch the game, Kentucky game, <laughs> before I go play. It takes me a little yeah. longer. We watched a game last November. We were in Kentucky for his cross country. And we watched a game and that was the first time we had seen Sheboy play. And Langston was like, Mom, that's how I play. But then we later found out he from, was from Congo like Langston and then he really fell in love with it. So take me to the Missouri game. You know, I was sent that picture of you by a fan who felt so bad for you because she could tell that you had been waiting to meet Oscar. And obviously the outcome of that game was, was disappointing. So how yeah. are you feeling in that moment? Oh, I was... Frustrated. <laughs> I, I, I didn't get why we was getting smoked so much. So, and then, you know, I, I put the picture of you on Twitter and we were able to find you. So tell me about like the moment you saw your picture on Twitter and saw, you know, Kentucky fans were trying to reach out to you to connect you to Oscar. How cool was that? Amazing. <laughs> I mean, people are like, and reach out to us and help us. The picture kind of, you know, made me a little a little sad, I guess. The kid was decked head to toe. I mean, head in and everything, <laughs> you saw it. He was mm -hmm. really excited. I just reached out to my office and, and we have our plane going back and forth from Kansas City to Columbia to Lebanon, Kentucky, you know, just about every other week. And I reached out and I said, you know, you think we can make this stuff possible? It's, you know, we can get there and he was like, um, I was planning to take care of it all. I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> it was like an hour and five minute fly. There was a driver already waiting for us. We went to the KSR Bar and Grill. What were your first impressions when you got to your seats yesterday? Oh, they were huge. <laughs> <laughs> They're like giants. Yeah, the players are a lot bigger than he was thinking they were. <laughs> to the part where you actually got to meet Oscar. What was what was that like? What was your first impression? Oh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Well, he came out talking to you in Lingala. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and Langston froze. He couldn't remember any of it. <laughs> he used to speak Lingala. He used to speak Lingala? Yeah. Um, on both sides? <laughs> Wait, How are you doing? <laughs> What part of Congo are you from? Uh, yes. What's your name? Langston. And I saw the post, I said, man, I wish I, I could see you last time. Um, we can take a picture, man. Um, we can take a picture. Get the selfie. Can you play basketball? I came here in 2015. I didn't know how to play basketball. I did two years in my team. I was just sitting on a bench. Um, but I always believed in myself. I knew I was going to be great. And I believe in God. Uh, do you believe in God? Yes. Good, keep up. Um, so I keep working on it, keep working on it, keep working on it. One day, God just moved me up. Um, believe in God. Do you pray? Do you read your Bible? Keep reading your Bible, man. God will take you to another level. Keep hard work all the time. Can't say excuses. excuses. No excuses, that's right. Always. <laughs> I'm glad. Thank you very much for taking care of him. Well, thank you for giving us time. You. And, um, we'll see you, brother. We'll see you. Enjoy it. About Oscar just meeting him just now. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> I was nervous at first, but it wasn't as bad. He's a really like easy guy to talk to, I feel like. Yeah. And he can talk to you in like six or seven different languages. Yeah. Um, yeah, Langston got really excited when he was going through all of his languages on an interview one time and he heard Lingala because nobody speaks Lingala. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like a few words in Lingala that... Oh, Mokolasi. Oh. I don't know any. So. <laughs> and I encouraged that boy to say, keep up good work. And I told him, when I first came to America, I did not know how to play basketball. I did two years not playing basketball because I was so bad, I was sitting on the, the last person on the bench. But I could not stop believing in myself and work out it. Look where I am, just work out and believe in God. So the kid, I, I think he believed that. The people that sent us here, they have treated us way better than we ever have deserved. <laughs> so. Kentucky fans get a bad rap. We're passionate, and sometimes that uh, passion boils into a lot of neg neg negativity just to bring some of the positive back. You know, it just shows that Kentucky and the Big Blue Nation is, is more than just basketball.